Its tyres pierced by road spikes and careering out of control, this was the end of a 114 kilometre joyride, pursuit and ultimately trucking rampage. A closer look shows the undercarriage igniting before a fireball engulfs the rig, taking out power poles and a historic building next to Singleton's Royal Hotel. As it unfolded on George Street last October, cars sped off in panic and the reaction from witnesses in the firing line was one of horror. This truck driver gasping, hands on head, then recoiling in fear the rig or a toppling power pole would take him out too. As power lines sway and smoke billows, something extraordinary. The driver, allegedly Rodney Johnson, scrambles from the cabin, leaps to the road, then jogs to safety before surveying the destruction behind him. After seeing he's OK, the second truckie invites him into his cabin and just as Johnson climbs inside, police arrive. What the truckie does not know yet is that they've been chasing him for kilometres. Their guns are drawn, they're on the hunt. One officer scrambles away when the cabin reignites, fearing it will explode. And on the other side of George Street, 90 seconds after the crash, witnesses finally tell police where to find their man. They surge forward, guns drawn, and it dawns on the truckie this was more than an accident. He identifies Johnson and gets clear. Get out of the truck, get out of the truck, demands one officer, his gun pointing at Johnson, who moves across, then, when police try to force him out, an almighty struggle. Johnson allegedly resists. Another officer joins in, punches a throne before Johnson is ejected from the rig. It is finally over. Pictures from witnesses show as many as seven cops on him. Here, mate. Uh, right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Nearly a year later, there, mate, George Street has not fully recovered. The toll in the end, millions of dollars damage, half a dozen cars totaled, the truck too and five people sent to hospital. After an erratic trip on the New England highway from Murrurundi, police felt they had no choice but to deploy road spikes on Singleton's outskirts as the truck approached homes. The result was bad, but not catastrophic. It did stop, and nobody died. Rodney Johnson's court case is being heard here at Newcastle Court and it's expected to head to a committal trial later this year. His defence has already flagged an intention to argue mental illness. Robert Ovadia, 7 News.